Live from WKYC Studios, this is 3 News at 5. It's a very sad day for Cleveland. It's a very sad day for America. And I hope that the people do listen to this and take some time in their day-to-day -day while they're celebrating to remember his family. As Americans celebrate their freedom today, Cleveland police are suffering the loss of a young officer. Our officer is a 27-year-old male. He has been on the department for the past four years. Jameson Ritter, an officer recently hailed a hero multiple times, shot and killed in the line of duty overnight. This is a really tough situation, and it's hitting everyone really hard. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on News 3, 3 News at 5 o'clock on this July 4th. What should be a day for celebration across Northeast Ohio is instead marked by sadness following the death of a Cleveland police officer killed in the line of duty. So here's what we're learning tonight. The officer is this man you see there on your screen, 27-year-old Jamison Ritter. He joined the Cleveland Police Department just four years ago. Well, he was shot while responding to a call on East 80th overnight, and that suspect is now in custody and charged with aggravated murder. We have full team coverage this evening. Our Stephanie Haney looked into the suspected killer's history. Annabelle Childers is live with the police memorial on Lakeside with more about Officer Ritter. And we start from the 3rd District headquarters where Officer Ritter was stationed. Matt Rascone is there. He leads our coverage tonight. Matt, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Russ. Uh, this is, as you said, the district where Officer Ritter served. This is the community he worked to protect. And today, if you take a look behind me, you'll see outside the station is now where many are remembering that service and his sacrifice while he was responding to yet another call for help. Work hard, they risk their lives, they risk everything they have to protect the community. Police Chief Annie Todd says that's the kind of service that was on display in the 1500 block of East 80th Street around 1 a.m. And they need to be recognized for the heroes that they are. Officers putting their lives on the line to get a man wanted for felonious assault off the street. We had information that this was potentially a violent felon that was wanted. So we had multiple officers on scene at this incident. Chief Todd says when police arrived, 24-year-old Delonte Hardy ran out of the house and jumped on a bike. Officers attempted to arrest him when she says Hardy pulled out a gun and fired several shots. It was just like that. Boom, boom, boom. That was it. 27-year-old police officer Jameson Ritter was shot and killed. This is the first time it ever happened on the street, so I was really shocked. That was it. Leaving behind a heartbroken family. I can't even begin to express how they feel. It's absolutely devastating. There's nothing that I can say to them that's going to make it better, but I can tell you that we will 100% be there for them and support them. Cleveland's officers are now in need of that support as they mourn the tragic killing of one of their own and investigate the moments leading up to it. Pray for the men and women of our police department, especially as we celebrate this 4th of July holiday and the freedom that we have in this country. That freedom depends on the men and women of our police department. If you were with us about a half hour ago, we saw a man pull over on the side of the street, walk over to this cruiser, plant these American flags in the ground outside of the cruiser here, and then just kneel and sit there in silence for what felt like several minutes. This is the second time that we've seen this kind of scene outside of a police station. In just the last two months, the second police officer killed in two months in Cuyahoga County. Police Chief Annie Todd said this is a time to put aside criticism for officers and show them our support. And you are seeing some of that support outside the 3rd District Police Station here in Cleveland. Russ. Matt, I drove in that way on my way to work today on Chester Avenue and saw that, and you are correct. It, it is quite a, a chilling scene there, a poignant scene. As people come up there and they leave flowers, they leave flags, and you're so right, Matt. We saw that at the last half hour, that gentleman who was there, who was praying in front of that car. All right, Matt yeah. Resco. We'll see you later. Thank you. Let's talk more about Officer Ritter here. Over his four years with the Cleveland Police Department, the 27-year-old earned some recognition for his heroism and bravery, and he was recently, in fact, honored with an award for saving the lives of two people. Our Annabelle Childers is live there at the police memorial also to tell us what she's learning about Ritter's life and family history. Annabelle, what do you know? 
Well, Ritter's name will eventually be added to this memorial behind me, which honors the lives lost, lives lost in the line of duty. Today, Cleveland police are giving us some insight into Officer Ritter's life. They say he served the city with distinction and pride, and he was not only a police officer, but an Army veteran. 27-year-old Jameson Ritter grew up in Webster, New York, and he came from a law enforcement family. His father, an officer with the Greece Police Department there. After graduating with a bachelor's degree from Syracuse University, the Cleveland Division of Police says Ritter was commissioned in the Ohio Army National Guard. Ritter joined the Cleveland Division of Police in 2020 before deploying to Syria in 2022. When he returned from Syria in 2023, he continued his service with the Cleveland Police 3rd District. According to his family, quote, from an early age, Jameson possessed an innate understanding of selfless service to the nation and a strong desire to serve his community. Now, the news of Ritter's death is heartbreaking for Cleveland police. John Kickle, the president of an organization that remembers fallen officers, says it's vital the city remembers Ritter's sacrifice. The festivals, the bike rides, the freedoms, the fireworks all celebrate freedom. And yet, uh, in the middle of the night, we lost a young 27-year-old Cleveland police officer whose family certainly isn't going to celebrate freedom today. The Cleveland Police Department's not going to be celebrating freedoms today. Now, just a few days ago, the Cleveland Police Foundation honored Ritter, saying it was his actions of heroism, including performing CPR on a gunshot victim and also pulling a man out of the Cuyahoga River that saved those two people's lives. And Christy at 6 will explain how one city organization is working to honor him in the coming weeks. All right, good to know. Annabelle Childers live in Cleveland tonight. Thank you. And we want to tell you that we've learned police work runs in Officer Ritter's family. His father, John Litter, is a retired police officer with the Greece, New York Department. There he is right there. Uh, that's a small town near Rochester, in case you didn't know. And he retired from the force back in 2013. The Greece Police Department also offering their thoughts and prayers today to the Ritter family as well as the Cleveland Police Force. We want to turn now briefly to the suspect who is in custody and now faces an aggravated murder charge. Stephanie Haney picks up our coverage. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, Russ. Yeah, we can tell you the suspect in the murder of Cleveland officer Jamison Ritter is 24-year-old Delonte Hardy. Now, Hardy's address on the criminal complaint is listed as on the east side of Cleveland. U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott confirmed to three new senior crime and justice correspondent Lydia Aspara that the marshal's office has a separate open case involving Hardy. There was an active arrest warrant for the shooting of his grandmother in Garfield Heights. Elliot said Hardy has a history of mental illness, so the marshal's office is proceeding with caution in that case. 3 News has also learned separately that he had a previous case in municipal court for resisting arrest and criminal trespass. Both of those are misdemeanor charges, and they were dismissed in April. He's been charged now with aggravated murder for the death of Officer Ritter, and we can tell you he's been arrested. He is in custody, and the latest information we have is that he'll be arraigned tomorrow morning. That'll happen at 8.30 in the morning tomorrow at Cleveland Municipal Court, Russ. Stephanie Haney in the newsroom. Thanks. Well, flags across Northeast Ohio are flying at half staff. You see them there after Governor Mike DeWine ordered them to be lowered. The governor also issuing a statement expressing condolences for Ritter's family, friends, and colleagues. Coming up in our next half hour, our Lindsay Buckingham will have more reaction from area police departments and the mother of fallen Euclid police officer, Jacob Durbin.